Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica and I'm an online reseller. I sell mostly clothes on the Poshmark Canada app. I have sold on Poshmark US, taking a break from that right now. I have sold on eBay, taking a hiatus from that as well. So only on Poshmark Canada right now. Um, so today's video is an unboxing. <laughs> I have been trying different ways of sourcing. So this is some online sourcing. It's an auction. I won't say which one. Um, just because <laughs> auctions is competition driven. So I feel like that makes sense that I wouldn't share what it is. But if you Google it, you can probably find it in two seconds. But anyway, so these are items that I want at the auction that I will be unboxing. A lot of them are for personal use. Some are to resell. Um, this isn't everything I ordered. This is just what was ready today. So there will be more unboxings. I did one recently. I will link it up here if you haven't watched it yet. Um, I had fry boots in that haul, which I'm still waiting to resold. <laughs> I haven't brought them so um I don't know what's in these boxes like I know what I ordered but I don't know which five things these are so I was supposed to pick up nine today but it's a whole thing so this is what I had this is what they had ready for me to pick up so I'm excited let's dive in I haven't looked into the boxes I just cut the tops so I'm excited. You know, like when you order something online, you just like want to have it and open it. Oh, I'm so glad these are here. Okay, so these are Ugg boots and I'm really hoping to wear these for work. Um, so if you don't know, I'm a full-time flight attendant and they, my work boots are dead. Like, I thought I could fix them or get them fixed, but they need like a lot of repair. They've been through it. So this has been like an ongoing saga this year, um, me trying to find work boots. Okay, so right off the hop, these are not in the best condition. Um, if you can see on the heel here, there is some damage. And also these are gray and my work boots need to be black. I feel like I could get away with these if I really wanted to. Um, I might wear them. Oh, these are like, okay. So this is what the heel looks like on this side. Let's see what this one looks like. Yeah, these would definitely need to be fixed. They might work for four days. Um, I have another pair coming in the mail. But anyway, so these are Ugg boots. Um, and they're like wedges. They've got this little stud, which um, I like that detail. And these are a size, they must be an eight and a half. They're a size nine. So these should be just fine. I will try those on later. I'm excited though. Okay, so we're off to a pretty good start. It's important to note with these auctions, you need to manage your expectations. My cost of goods is anywhere between 10 and $15. That's what I pay to the auction. Then after that, there's the whole fee to get them brought in. I get it shipped to my Montana mailbox because this doesn't ship to Canada. So like that's separate, but if you're in the US, you would have paid $15 for those and then there's the exchange rate too and all that but anyway I just say like manage your expectations because they only put like a few pictures and then they barely go over the condition so it is a risk that you're taking I did end up buying a lot of Uggs <laughs> so these are slippers these are actually in pretty good condition I will um I will need to clean these out there's like a some dog hair in there I don't know if you can see that or this person gave themselves a haircut while they were wearing these but you know what like not too bad I could actually just go to Ugg and get a whole new insole and just stick that in there 
but not bad like the actual soles look really good these were probably only worn indoor there is a loose thread here but whatever i'm not mad about that these are actually in pr like pretty good condition i'm happy with these i think that's all that was in there there was a bunch of packaging yeah and it's annoying because like i bought a a few things from the same location and then it says like you can combine shipping but you need to tell us before you pay and it's like well if i don't know i'm gonna win the auction how am i supposed to do that or some of them have like buy now so like what do i call you on the phone and say hey i'm about to buy this and i won this other auction can you combine my shipping i don't know kind of annoying but that's just me okay what are you <laughs> A lot of the same thing. So this is another pair of Ugg boots. Everything that I buy is in my size. And then I just decide if I want to keep it or sell it. Um, most everything. So these are just like the classic chestnut boots. These should roll up. Um, if they've been worn down for a long, like if they've been worn folded for a long time, there will be a crease like that. <clears throat> but that's fixable, I think. Oh, and then there's like a little bit of damage there. So I could see why they had them folded. I don't hate them like this, honestly. Um, let's see if these even fit me. I feel like I'm a little bit cramped for space. I don't want to break these. There we go. I could live my best basic life. And I mean that in the best way. I don't think being basic is a bad thing. Yeah, the soles look really good. I'm happy with these. These must be a size 8. Yeah. So I'm an 8.5-9, but with Ugg, with this specific style if you're a half size size down and they fit perfect okay next i think i know what this is oh there was some another box in here shoot i don't have anything to open it with hold on let's see if i can just Hulk this. Find a loose piece of tape. Okay, I think I know what this is. What? Yes. Woohoo, I'm excited. Oh, I thought this was supposed to be. I thought it was silver. I ordered this such a long time ago. <laughs> but it's a brand new Yeti mug. And I'm gonna bring this for camping. I'm really excited. Um, my mom let me borrow her Yeti mug when we went camping in the summer and it was like the perfect camping mug. Like it's literally brand new. It's got all the stuff in there. Oh, I'm so stoked. Is this, I could have sworn I bought a silver one, but this is black, but it's fine. Like I'm not upset it retails for $25 and I for sure paid less than that so that's fun this was like a big misunderstanding with the courier they like I requested it and then they said it was there but then it wasn't and anyway okay and last one ah! okay interesting so these are Sorel boots. Taking a gamble on these. I didn't pay up for them or anything. I paid $18 for them. But I don't know, like some Sorel styles are really hot. And I don't know if these are. But I just thought they were very like unique. It's a front zipper. And then it's got like the sheepskin on the side with this little like belted detail. I just thought they were really cute. And they look really warm, which is so important. So I just ordered them. I just submitted a bid and I ended up winning. So here we are. 
Um, and these are a size eight, I think, which would not fit me. Yeah, they're a size eight. There is some like denim transfer inside, but no big deal. And the rest of the boot looks in very good condition. I don't wanna break the zipper, there we go. But yeah, like there's no damage here. There's no damage here. Imagine if I did that and then found something crazy. Um, and yeah, like the soles look fine. So that's good. So all in all, I'm pretty happy. The tall leather Ugg boots are not in the condition I was hoping, but they are wearable. Like I'll be able to wear them and that's fine. Um, at least until my other boots come in. So yeah, I'm happy. I'm excited. And I will have more stuff coming in in the next few days. Um, so keep your eyes open for another unboxing. This is so fun. <laughs> I need to stop ordering stuff from there just because of this. But it is addicting. So anyway, it's not too expensive. So my feet. Well, I don't even know if I paid for my fees for these five things today or for all everything today. It was crazy. I was at that office for like at least half an hour trying to sort this out. But anyway, I'm just glad I have my Yeti mug for camp. I'm so excited for spring and summer so I can go camping again. It's been a long winter and it's only the first week of January, second week of January. But anyway, okay. There's the unboxing, and now I'm gonna film a bins haul. I don't know which one I'm uploading first, so if I upload the bins haul first, this part will make no sense. But I went to the bins yesterday and I bought 72 things, and that was me being picky. The bins were just really good yesterday, so that's gonna be a long video, 72 things to go through. So I better get started on that. Maybe I'll have lunch and then I'll film that but yeah all right let me know um in the comments if you source online you don't need to tell me where just let me know if you found like good auction sites to source from or if you found other ways of sourcing online i know like in the us it's pretty common to like source on poshmark to resell on poshmark or source on like mercari to resell on poshmark or mercari um i don't personally do that but um yeah the biggest pain with this stuff is that it takes forever to come over so i usually like wait for a few to be ready and then i'll submit my request to have them brought over the border and then from the time i do that to when i actually have the items it's about two weeks which is crazy to me um it's like a three hour drive to the border but anyway <laughs> I don't know if I can just walk into the office and just like pick up my packages. I think I can, but I won't in the winter. Um, anyway, all right, see ya. <laughs>